What's up guys? I'm RL Mike1234, but you can call me Mike. Welcome to this week's vocal review for Rock Band DLC. Sorry I didn't put out a video last week. That will come some other time. In the meantime, let's worry about this week. We have two more songs to cover. One by Disturbed and one by Fitz and the Tantrums. Are they fun to sing? Let's find out. Our first song is The Sound of Silence by Disturbed. Just to point it out, the Simon and Garfunkel version is called The Sounds of Silence. The Disturbed version is called The Sound of Silence. Anyway, the chart starts up not too long after the song starts. There's no countdown, so it's pretty quick. You start off with low notes, and if you know the original, you'll catch on pretty quick. Unfortunately, knowing the original would also lead you to expect the song to be repetitive. Spoiler alert, it is. The octave will change after two verses, but that doesn't say much. You could say in the first octave and still have success. This song is marked as having two-part harmonies. Unfortunately, there is only one harmony phrase that comes in the last verse. That being said, do not, I repeat, do not buy the song for the harmonies. You won't find a whole lot. Now that we have two versions of the song in the game, I have a rule of thumb. If you want harmonies, get the Simon and Garfunkel version. That version has two-part harmonies in every phrase. However, if you're going for solo vocals, get the Disturbed version. I give the Sound of Silence by Disturbed a vocal score of 5 out of 10. Like I said, the song is repetitive and the harmonies suck. Only buy for solo vocals. This brings the full band score to a whopping 3 out of 10. Our second and final song for the week is Hand Clap by Fitz and the Tantrums. This chart begins quickly with a talkie phrase. About 8 seconds later, the first verse begins. There are 4 phrases in the verse, and they're all exactly the same with lowish notes. Then you get a pre-chorus with a really low phrase and two slightly higher phrases. What comes after the pre-chorus? That's right, another verse. This verse has the same melody as before, but the addition of the right harmony being a little higher. That is another pre-chorus with nothing special to report. You then get into the chorus. There are only two varying phrases here for the melody, but with a few phrases having the right harmony. Now there is the last phrase, which is just like the pre-choruses. After a couple more phrases in what I will call the jam, you get exactly what you just did. Verse 3, pre-chorus 3, and chorus 2 are all the exact same as their previous counterparts. The only difference from here to the rest of the song is the second jam section. This section has two phrases with just the right harmony and two others with the yellow harmony finally getting some pitched vocals. Yeah, the song has quite a bit of the yellow harmony in it, but up until this point they were all talkies. Anyway, this song was quite pathetic in my opinion. Even with all of its harmonies, it's super repetitive and I am not okay with that. I give Hand Clap a vocal score of 3.5 out of 10. Ugh, this week was a bit pathetic on all fronts. I can recommend The Sound of Silence for solo vocalists and Hand Clap for harmony vocalists, but neither very strongly. I give this week a total vocal score of 4.3 out of 10. Blah. This brings the full band score for the entire week to a 3.8 out of 10. Just, no. That does it for this week. Be sure to let me see your thoughts of this week's DLC in the comments. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. See you next time.